Quick reminder of how to write a number as a product of prime factors. Looking at the example 420, the idea here is we need to keep breaking it down until we get to only prime numbers. So let's look at one way of breaking 420 into a product. It can be uh, 7 times 60. I ask myself, are those prime? Well, 7 is, 60 isn't, so I must carry on breaking 60. 60 I can write as 30 times 2, are either of those prime? Yep, 2 is, but 30 isn't, so I must break it some more. 30 can be written as 15 times 2, are either of those prime? Yes, 2 is. 15 isn't, so I need to break it more. 15 can be written as 5 times 3, and both of those are prime, so I'm finished breaking it down, and now I'm just left to write it. 420, I can see there were two twos in my prime factorization, so that's 2 squared. There was a 3, there was a 5, and there was a 7.